Hey there, biodiesel enthusiasts. I'm Dan of Dr. Dan's Biodiesel in beautiful Seattle, Washington. Here we have a very popular biodiesel vehicle. This is a, a Ford uh, F250 uh, with a 7.3 liter diesel. Uh, the earlier style, the indirect injected, not the power stroke. Um, pretty much uh, identical to the 6.9 liter. Uh, these are, you know, good running trucks, uh, you know, works out fine, most people are pretty happy with them, but just some things to stay on top of. We talk about uh, hoses, seals, and gaskets all the time with biodiesel, and lots of people are, you know, oh no, you have to change everything, and you know, most of the time you don't. Almost all the time you don't. Um, these have a uh, kind of a complex and interesting uh, hose system on the uh, injectors. The injectors have a plastic cap on top of them, you know, just like this, with some O-rings that the fuel return line goes to. Um, those hoses and seals will eventually break down, but, you know, give me a break, the truck's 20 years old. Is that right? Yeah, the truck's 20 years old. Oh my God, I'm getting old. Um, and it's, uh, it's quite the job to replace those. Uh, it's almost all the job of pulling the injectors, so that's a very good time to, to do that, to get your injectors rebuilt. Almost isn't a, a vehicle out there that doesn't need that done. They just run better. Uh, you have to get an injector installation kit to get the little plastic caps and O-rings, and then you have to buy some different hose. You have to use a Bidiesel compatible hose there's all kinds of it out there now. Uh, Gates, Trident, Daco, uh, and some other brands too. Uh, and it's kind of a, a tedious uh, operation. Um, but once you do that, you shouldn't have to worry about it. Uh, as with any vehicle, you want to make sure that you have lots of good, clean, filtered fuel. That means uh, don't run it with a plug filter. You run it with a plug filter, you can cause all kinds of trouble. Uh, the truck can quit running, it can ruin the injection pump, uh, on and on and on. So to uh, change the filter, it's, it's just a, a simple uh, screw-on filter right there. Uh, unscrew it and uh, we like to pour the fuel that's uh, into a clean container so you can see what came out of it. Uh, you want to make sure it's just 100% fuel, not dirt, water, bacteria, anything else is bad. People ask, well, what? You know, what's bad? Anything that's not fuel, anything that doesn't look edible. If you wouldn't drink it, your truck doesn't want to drink it either. Um, the, uh, and you want to make sure that you change it soon. Don't wait till the truck quits running. That means you got to tow it somewhere. Uh, and then these are a pain to bleed. There's no real easy way to, uh, to bleed these. Um, when you put your new filter on, fill it up with good, clean, filtered fuel. Got that? Good, clean, filtered fuel. Just uh, uh, pour that good, clean, filtered fuel into the filter. Try not to spill too much of it when you screw it back on here. And then uh, start it up and hold it at a high idle so you can help get rid of the, uh, the rest of the uh, air that's in the system. And if you've run it out of fuel um, or ran it till it quit, well, good luck. Uh, you'll need to bleed the fuel system. There are instructions online on how to do that, but you have to uh, crack the injector line to let the air out. Um, but anyhow, don't do that. I'll wag my finger at you. And uh, these vehicles have a dual tank system. There's a fuel selector. Um, any little piece of dirt or garbage gets stuck in there and then you'll be stuck on, on one tank. Flip the switch back and forth, the gauge will read, but it'll be stuck on one tank and you'll run out of fuel on that, that one tank. Um, so some maintenance issues, but hey, it's a 20 year old truck. Uh, things do get old, doesn't matter how shiny they are on the outside, some things age regardless. Um, yeehaw! Anyhow, this truck is uh, great, it uh, still is a pleasure to drive, it's uh, quite the, the beast, um, and uh, you know, there's nothing, nothing wrong with it. Anyhow, 
have fun. See you soon.